Hi welcome to the Beyond Borders Briefing. Here are today's top news stories from around the world. So let's get started. China's President Xi Jinping is not attending the G20 summit in person, but will join via video link. Some analysts say this may be part of his plan to reshape global governance according to China's interests. Hong Kong was hit by flash flooding after the heaviest rainfall since 1884. The city recorded more than 300 millimeters of rain in 24 hours, which disrupted transport, damaged infrastructure, and forced evacuations. India's Chandrayaan-2 mission, which was the first to land on the moon's south pole, revealed some of its findings, such as water ice, minerals, and craters. The mission also paved the way for future lunar exploration and research. Russia's failures in Ukraine could be a win for North Korea as the latter may see that Russia cannot protect its allies or deter its enemies. This could embolden North Korea to pursue its nuclear ambitions, despite the stalled talks with the U.S. An American man who was trapped in a cave in Turkey for more than two days was rescued by a team of experts. The man, who is a former NASA engineer and an experienced caver, was stuck at a depth of about 200 meters with limited oxygen and water. NASA's MOXIE experiment which was designed to produce oxygen from carbon dioxide on Mars using a device on board the Perseverance rover, came to an end after running for about a year. The experiment produced about 12 grams of oxygen per hour, which could reduce the need to carry oxygen from Earth for future human missions to Mars. North Korea unveiled a new submarine capable of launching ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads. Kim Jong-un personally inspected and praised the submarine as a strategic weapon that will enhance North Korea's deterrence and defense capabilities. Danny Masterson, a former star of that 70s show and The Ranch, was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for raping three women between 2001 and 2003. The victims testified against him in court and expressed relief and gratitude for the verdict. Irina Sabalenka beat Madison Keys in straight sets to reach her first Grand Slam final at the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament. She will face Coco Gauff, who became the youngest U.S. Open finalist in history at 18 years old. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas made an anti-Semitic speech at a meeting of the Palestinian National Council, where he blamed the Jews for their own persecution and genocide during the Holocaust. His speech was condemned by Israel, the U.S., the EU, and the UN, who called for an apology. That's all for today. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for more news.